Welcome to the channel everyone, it's that time of year again, the time when we gather to celebrate the best that the interactive entertainment medium has to offer. Tonight, we're diving deep into the highly anticipated nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards 2024. From sprawling open worlds to deeply personal narratives, 2024 has been an unforgettable journey for gamers worldwide. We'll also delve into some of the year's most notable snubs, those games that, while deserving of recognition, narrowly missed out on a nomination. So buckle up, grab your controllers and join us as we dissect the contenders vying for gaming's highest honor. Let's get started. Our first stop on this whirlwind tour of gaming excellence takes us into the vibrant and whimsical world of Astrobot Rescue Mission 2. Developed by the incredibly talented team at Japan Studio, Astrobot Rescue Mission 2 picks up where its critically acclaimed predecessor left off delivering a delightful and innovative platforming experience that pushes the boundaries of what VR gaming can be. For those unfamiliar with the series, Astrobot Rescue Mission 2 puts you in the role of Astro, a brave little robot tasked with rescuing his scattered crewmates across a series of colorful and challenging levels. The game masterfully utilizes the PlayStation VR 2 headset to create a truly immersive experience, allowing players to physically lean, peek around corners, and interact with the environment in ways that wouldn't be possible in a traditional platformer. The game is bursting with charm, humor, and a level of polish that's rare to find in any genre. From the adorable animations of Astro and his crewmates to the clever level design that constantly surprises and delights, Astro Bot Rescue Mission 2 is a testament to the power of creative vision and meticulous craftsmanship. But does it have what it takes to secure the Game of the Year award? That's the question we'll be exploring in this chapter. So what do you think? Does Astrobot Rescue Mission 2 deserve to be crowned Game of the Year? Let us know in the comments below. Our next stop takes us into the fantastical world of Metaphor Refantatio, the highly anticipated RPG from the legendary developers at Atlas. Known for their groundbreaking work on the Persona and Shin Megami Tensei series, Atlas has a long and storied history of crafting immersive and thought-provoking role-playing experiences. And with Metaphor Refantasio, the studio looks to be returning to its roots, delivering a grand-scale fantasy epic that harkens back to classic JRPGs, while simultaneously pushing the genre forward in bold new directions. Details surrounding Metaphor Refantasio are still relatively scarce, with Atlas carefully guarding the game's secrets in the lead-up to its release. The game's trailers showcase a stunningly realized world brought to life with a vibrant art style and a hauntingly beautiful soundtrack. The combat system appears to be a deep and engaging blend of turn-based strategy and real-time action, promising a level of tactical depth that will satisfy hardcore RPG fans while remaining accessible to newcomers. But perhaps most intriguing is the game's narrative, which promises to explore themes of identity, choice, and the power of imagination. With its pedigree, ambition, and sheer creative potential, Metaphor V Fantasio has all the makings of a Game of the Year contender, so, join us as we venture into the enigmatic world of Metaphor V Fantasio and try to unravel the mysteries that lie at its heart. Prepare to return to Midgar, to a world on the brink of despair and rebellion as we delve into Final Fantasy VII's rebirth, the next chapter in Square Enix's ambitious reimagining of their iconic RPG, picking up where Final Fantasy VII Remake left off. Rebirth thrusts players back into the shoes of Cloud Strife a former soldier turned mercenary caught in a desperate struggle against the tyrannical Shinra Corporation and the echoes of a long-forgotten threat. Rebirth promises to expand upon the narrative foundation laid by Remake, venturing beyond the sprawling metropolis of Midgar to explore the wider world and its secrets. With a cast of beloved characters both familiar and new, Rebirth promises to delve deeper into the complex relationships and intertwining destinies that have captivated fans for generations. The game promises a refined combat system, blending real-time action with strategic decision-making, allowing players to unleash devastating abilities and experience the flow of battle like never before. The world, too, will be more expansive and immersive, offering players the freedom to explore, uncover hidden truths, and forge their own path through a world forever changed by the events of the past. The anticipation surrounding Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is palpable, a testament to the enduring legacy of the original game and the excitement surrounding Square Enix's bold vision for its future. 
But will Rebirth live up to the weight of expectation? Can it capture the magic that made the original Final Fantasy VII such a cultural touchstone? That is the question that hangs heavy in the air, so join us as we journey back into the heart of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and discover whether this is a second coming or a pale imitation of a legend. From the familiar to the entirely new, our journey through the Game of the Year contenders now takes us to the mystical and visually stunning world of Black Myth Wukong. Developed by Game Science, a relatively new studio based in China, Black Myth Wukong has taken the gaming world by storm with its stunning visuals, intricate combat system, and a captivating world steeped in Chinese mythology. Inspired by the classic 16th century novel Journey to the West, Black Myth Wukong casts players as the legendary monkey king, Sun Wukong, on a perilous journey of self-discovery and adventure. But this is not a simple retelling of a familiar tale. Game science is weaving a new narrative tapestry, filled with intriguing characters, challenging moral dilemmas, and a world shrouded in secrets waiting to be uncovered. The game's combat is a ballet of brutality and grace, seamlessly blending martial arts mastery with supernatural abilities. Players will need to master a variety of stances, weapons and magical transformations to overcome the challenging enemies and epic bosses that stand in their path. Utilizing Unreal Engine 5, Game Science has created a world of breathtaking beauty filled with lush environments, intricately detailed character models, and stunning visual effects that push the boundaries of what's possible in real-time graphics. But can it deliver on its promise? Can it stand shoulder to shoulder with the titans of the industry and claim the coveted Game of the Year title? So join us as we venture into the world of Black Myth Wukong, a world where legends are born and destinies are forged in the crucible of combat and adventure, Our exploration of gaming excellence takes a dramatic turn as we venture into the enigmatic and hauntingly beautiful world of Balatro. Developed by the visionary team at Variable State, known for their critically acclaimed narrative adventure game, Virginia, Balatro is a game that defies easy categorization. It's a genre-bending experience that seamlessly blends elements of psychological horror, surrealism and interactive storytelling to create something truly unique and unforgettable. In Balatro, players find themselves stepping into a world where reality and perception are constantly shifting, where the lines between dreams and waking life blur, and where uncovering the truth is a terrifying and exhilarating journey into the unknown. The game's narrative unfolds through a series of fragmented memories, cryptic clues, and unsettling encounters, leaving players to piece together the mystery at the heart of Balatro's world. The game's minimalist art style, haunting sound design, and unsettling atmosphere all contribute to a sense of unease and dread, drawing players deeper into its web of mystery. Balatro is not a game for the faint of heart. It's a game that will challenge your perceptions, stay with you long after you've finished playing, and leave you questioning the very nature of reality itself. So, does Balatro have what it takes to win Game of the Year? That's a question that will likely spark heated debate and passionate discussion. Our journey through the Game of the Year nominees culminates with a return to the lands between to a world forever scarred by the shattering of the Elden Ring. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, the highly anticipated expansion to From Software's genre-defining action RPG, promises to expand upon the game's lore, introduce new challenges and deliver an experience that's both familiar and wholly unexpected. Shadow of the Erd Tree plunges players back into the heart of a world on the brink. The Erd Tree, once a beacon of golden order, now stands withered and corrupted, its once life-giving grace replaced by a creeping blight. New threats emerge from the shadows drawn to the Erd Tree's fading power, while forgotten horrors awaken from their slumber, eager to reclaim their dominion over the lands between. New weapon spells and ashes of war promise to shake up the game's already deep combat system while new areas to explore, enemies to conquer, and secrets to uncover will test the mettle of even the most seasoned tarnished. The anticipation surrounding Shadow of the Erd Tree is palpable. But can Shadow of the Erd Tree live up to the legacy of its predecessor? Can it recapture the magic that made Elden Ring such a global phenomenon? 
So, join us as we prepare to return to the lands between to face the shadows that gather beneath the withered Erd Tree and discover what fate awaits us in Elden Ring's shadow of the Erd Tree. And there you have it, our in-depth look at the Game of the Year nominees for the Game Awards 2024. From the whimsical charm of Astrobot Rescue Mission 2 to the haunting beauty of Bellatro, this year's nominees represent the incredible breadth and depth of the interactive medium. But ultimately, only one game can claim the coveted title of Game of the Year. So what do you think? Which game deserves to take home the crown? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to back up your choice with your reasons. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the Game Awards.